Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Shotsuki Hoyo, our monthly memorial service. Today, we are also observing Bodhi Day to commemorate when Star the Gautama attained enlightenment and became Shakyamuni Buddha. We will begin this morning service with ringing of the Kancho. Reverend Mugojima will offer Hyo of Yakumon and Aspiration and then read the Shotsugi memorial names. This will be followed by Sutra chanting of San Buzie. No one knows, it's 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 no one Today, on this occasion, of the Mountain View Buddhist Temples, the Central Shotsky Memorial Service, we come before the image of Amida Buddha to express our sincere respect for and gratitude to the Shotsky Armories. As I read the Shotsky names, please join me in silent meditation so that we may think deeply on their continuing influence on our lives. Yoshiko Akizuki, Edward Chikasue, Ichiro Chikasue, Richard Endo, Emiko Fujikawa, Mamoru Fukuma, Emiko Furuta, James Furuta, Eigoro Hashimoto, Marana Hayashi, Sato Hiroshige, Dorothy Horiuchi, Jun Hoshi, Teruko Ikeda, Amy Imai, Sueno Imamura, Hana Inoue, Harry Ishi, Ichi Iwamoto, Muriel Izumi, Shogo Kaku, 
デイビッド・カワモト、ジュンソー・カワモト、ツエ・カワモト、トシコ・カワモト、ジェームス・イチロー・カワエ、トミコ・クサクラ、アリス・コヤノ、トモエ・クママル、ジョージ・クニモト、ヨシオ・クサバ、ノブイチ・マサキ、キヨコ・ムラカミ、タマエ・ナガツユ、ポール・ナカカワ、ジェン・ナカムラ、アサゾウ・ナカムラ、ミユキ・ナカノ、シュンスケ・ナカノ、レオ・ナカヤマ、フランク・オキモト、ケアリ・サカエ、ジロー・サカノ、ハツエ・サコ、チオ・シモグジ、ナスケ・シンケ、ローリタキ・タカスギ、ロボル・タニグジ、ヒオミ・タノウエ、フローレンス・ツカガワ、ヒロ・ウエハラ、エドワード・ヨネムラ、ヘロー・ユカワ。Let's remember with warmth and appreciation those past loved ones who have carefully and lovingly nurtured us to our present state. Also, today we are observing the body day service to commemorate The enlightenment of Siddhartha Gautama, which took place on the morning of December 8th, over 2500 years ago in India. Along with the rising of the morning star, he became the Buddha, the fully awakened one. As we observe this very auspicious occasion, may we learn from the content of his awakening and begin to live each day fully, humbly, And gratefully. Please put the hands together and gush. Now, one love, it's now 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 one love, it's
We will now have a Buddhist reading. Please join me and God show. A family is a place where a mind lives with other minds. If these minds love each other, the home will be as beautiful as a flower garden. Please join me in God show. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Please join us to recite the golden chain. I am a link in the Buddha's golden chain of love. The stretches around the world. I must keep my link bright and strong. I will try to be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will try to think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. Knowing that my actions will result in not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also the happiness or unhappiness of others as well. May every link in the Buddha's golden chain of love be bright and strong. May we all attain perfect peace. Please join me in Gosho. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. We'll now have a Dharma message from Reverend Mukujima. Those whom we love and hate are merely the regions of our own creation. It is not at all that a hateful person is before us, but rather that we who hate that person are here. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your participation in our online December Shotsky Memorial and the Body Day service. Um, although many of you may not have been able to get together with your family and friends, I hope everyone was still able to enjoy a relaxing time last Thanksgiving weekend. It's very important to refresh and relax our minds, especially during the ongoing restrictions of on uh, social gatherings. Please continue to take precaution to keep you and your family safe and healthy. Uh, today, we are uh, participating in one of the most important Buddhist observances, Bodhi Day. Bodhi is a Sanskrit word, which means highest wisdom or enlightenment. As you know, Siddhartha Gautama attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree on December 8th, over 2,500 years ago. Bodhi Day is our special uh, celebration of the awakening of Siddhartha, who opened wide the Dharma storehouse. He is the only one in this world who attained enlightenment and became a Buddha. So today, we should show our deep gratitude for the innumerable causes and conditions which allow us to encounter his wonderful teaching while respectful of his great achievement. Um, as everyone knows, the U.S. presidential election took place last month. It attracted a great deal of attention worldwide. But this year's election was also full of complications due to the pandemic. Unusual circumstances included technical problems, a record number of mail-in ballots, uh, confusion 
at some polling places because of the lack of workers and so on. For these reasons, uh, it's taken longer than normal to total the votes in some states, which means that some results are still not decided. It's an unfortunate situation. I know many people rejoiced at the end of results, while others were deeply disappointed. But whichever candidate we supported, we each have the same hope, and that is for the prosperity and the peace of the U.S. and for the happiness of its citizens. All those who live in this country wish for a better and a more harmonious society. Sadly, America has remained divided on so many issues. Discord arises on topics like religious conflicts, migrant and refugee crisis, and the Black Lives Matter, and the LGBTQ concerns, among others. Those whose opinions differ on these topics are often in conflict. Unfortunately, we have witnessed in the news that those on opposite sides sometimes abuse or even use violence against one another in public. It's a really sad, sad reality. During this recent social political chaos, you know who is being affected most painfully? They are the children living in this country. There are too many young people who are anxious and fearful about discrimination and the violence. They don't feel hopeful about Americans' future. How sad it is. So, despite the election results, now is the time to respect and accept the differences we have with others. We must realize how important it is for each of us to recognize one's social identity and to protect human rights. This is how we can create a society which is kind and thoughtful. I believe that this mindset is the only way to unite, not divide, this nation. Last year, the Rugby World Cup was hosted in Japan, and it was a great success. Football is uh, far more popular in the U.S. And because the football season has uh, started, many of you are excited to uh, watch the games on TV, right? Rugby is not a major sport in the U.S., but it has one aspect superior, superior to other team sports. It is the spirit of no side. No side. Rugby is very physical with lots of uh, collision plays like football. Um, all the players have well conditioned bodies, and because these bodies come in contact repeatedly, sometimes players get into fist fights. Each, each team plays fiercely, trying to defeat or uh, beat its opponent. Uh, but once the game is over, there is no side of winners or losers. No matter how fiercely uh, the game was played, once it is finished, all the players step away from the co uh, concept of their team versus another team. They only have praise for one another for their hard work. By showing this spirit, all the players can respectfully deepen their friendships. This is the wonderful tradition of no side and the most attractive aspect uh, of rugby. Actually, my father uh, played rugby when he was in college. Later, uh, when he was a, a high school teacher in Osaka, 
he became a rugby coach. He told me that while he was uh, the rugby coach, his school became well known for its team. It was over 50 years ago, but he still uh, talks about those days uh, proudly. I don't know if his story is true or not, but he loves rugby more than anybody else in my family. When I was a little though, uh, I wasn't uh, very interested in rugby. My father always said how wonderful a sport it is, and I'm sure it was because of the spread of no side. He told me how important it is to have this spirit, not only during the game, but also in our daily lives. In Buddhism, we have the teaching of the middle path, which shows how important it is to practice right mind, which doesn't cling too hard to either side of extremes. This is one of the uh, fundamental teachings shown by Siddhartha Shakyamuni Buddha when he attained enlightenment. It's a very important teaching based on body or highest wisdom. This right mind has something in common, the spirit of a middle path, which we should practice in our daily lives. For example, during the election uh, presidential campaign, uh, we probably uh, enthusiastically supported one political party. And because of the differences in our values, uh, we may have argued with someone who supported another party. But now that the election is over, we should accept and respect one another, regardless of any principles which we may still not share. Even if we are upset with or even hate that per another person for his views, we shouldn't dwell on our differences, but just try to let them go. Don't get into hatred. You know, hatred can create, can never create anything constructive. Okay? In Buddhism, there is a phrase, onshin byodo, which means not to discri discriminate between love and hate. It means that all those whom we love or hate should be regarded as equals without exception. It describes a state which is beyond love and hatred. It actually uh, desc describes the state of the Buddha's enlightenment. And there is a very important teaching which makes us realize the importance of seeing everyone as equals. We tend to see all things in duality, friends versus enemy, or justice or injustice versus injustice and so on. But I mean the Buddha's compassionate our mind embraces all people equally, with no exceptions. Unfortunately, our selfish mind includes the self-love that feels superior by looking down on and denying the equal importance of others. This arrogant attitude will result in discrimination, which cannot see all people equally. But Onshin Byodo, or state of enlightenment, is to completely defeat such a selfish way of thinking. And as I told you in the opening meditation, it is uh, to become aware that those whom we love and hate are merely delusions of our own creation. It is not at all that a hateful person is before us but rather that we who hate that person are here. So Buddha shows us how important it is to realize that our feelings of discrimination are 
is products of our delusional thinking, then we should deflect deeply upon our arrogant mind and extend our loving kindness to all people without discrimination. Of course, it's really difficult for us ordinary people to develop this mindset. But if we try to calm our hatred against others and come to a compromise with them, we should be able to accept them as fellow humans. The spirit of no side is the right path to encourage the entire nation to stand together in harmony. This is how we can get beyond the barriers between races, religions, cultures, and everything else. This is a world filled with kindness and respect and without discrimination or hatred. Regardless which political party assumed the power, if we firmly hold the spirit of no side, or the teaching of a middle path, we can create a safe and comfortable community where each of us still respects others' values and protects others as civil rights. This shows us how to realize the empathetic world, meaning when you are in pain, I'm also in pain. When you are happy, I'm also happy. It refers to the world of the Nembutsu, filled with kindness, respect, and gratitude. This spirit of no side is the teaching of the middle way, the basis of Buddhism, which encourages us not to be too attached to either side of extremes. It shows us how important and precious the way of life is that treats others as well as ourselves with respect. Although there may still be some issues about the election results, now that it is over and because we all desire solidarity and harmony for the U.S., I sincerely hope that each of us will try to demonstrate the spread of no side especially with its promise uh, to fearful children ev everywhere, that by truly respecting one another, we can create a hope and a kind, a hopeful and a kind of society to unite, not divide this nation. In conclusion, uh, let's all appreciate the body day service for giving us this wonderful opportunity to seek the way of awakening while respectful of the great achievement of Shakyamuni Buddha. As long as we live in this world, it will be extremely difficult to overcome our selfish nature and attain enlightenment while on Shinbyodo. But we should remember that the Nimbus teaching offers a way to help us live humbly and reflect deeply upon our own sense of discrimination, which exists in our heart and the mind. Through the names of teaching, we can follow the way of life that leads to the realization of a society uh, free from bigotry and the discrimination. Once again, thank you very much for your kind uh, attention to my Dhamma talk today. Uh, please continue to stay healthy and have a great day. Thank you. Please put your hands together in Gashu. The spirit of no side is the right path to encourage the entire nation to stand together in harmony. This is how we can get beyond the barriers between races, religions, cultures, and everything else. This is a world filled with kindness and respect and without discrimination or hatred. Namanda, but 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 Namanda,
Thank you, Sensei, for your Dharma message. If you are currently watching our service watch party on Zoom, there will be a Japanese language service and an English language discussion group immediately following our service today in the same Zoom meeting. Please stay with us and we will separate English language discussion group into a Zoom breakout room. Thank you for attending today's service.